Welcome back to Danamega Outdoors and on another mountain adventure. I'm back in Snowdonia. The, I'm back in the Odrin Valley, as you all know, if you've seen some of my videos. I, I love it here, my major playground. It's stunning, it's 12 degrees at the moment. Mountain Information Service says it's gonna drop down to up to about minus five tonight, so it's full winter setup for me. I'm trying a new tent. Um, if you stick with me, I'll uh, show you the route I'm planning to take up. Right, so I'm having to show you this on my phone. So the route I'm taking there, you can see where I'm parked now, where the arrow is. You can see you've got the uh, the path there, which is literally at the side of me now. I'm going to go up there, round to around about that little point there. If I can just zoom in, about this point here. And then what I'm going to do there, I'm going to cut, kind of cut across here. There's no marked path. But I've been up there before, me and Meg's camped there, kind of the back end of last summer. So yeah, I'm going to be looking at coming to about here, if I can just get rid of that. And I'm going to kind of like cut across, but if the worst comes to the worst, a route I do know is if I just zoom out a bit more. I, can, I, know, I do know, I'm fully aware that I can come to about here, which puts me on around about 650 metres. And I can click, there's, a, that, that, there's kind of like a plateau type thing here, but it's pretty level. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, if the worst comes to the worst, I'll come over towards here, which is the end of that path there. And I'll come round and then I'll come back down to Limbok Lewis as well. Ideally, I'd prefer to cut across there, otherwise I'm going considerably, probably another couple of hundred metres higher, to, just to come back down again. So, uh, but yes, here we go. Back at it again, back in the mountains, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, if you stick with the stick with the uh, vids, I'll uh, come back to you when I'm uh, probably losing a bit of uh, losing a bit of sweat on my way up the hill. So anyway, stay tuned, and I'll catch you shortly. That is the start of my ascent. And my intentions are to go, if you see where the grass is at the top, up there. That's where I need to get to before I cut across and head down to the lake. So, just had two fighter planes come flying through the valley, which was absolutely incredible. Low level flying, which was good. I'm holding fire for another 10 minutes here, hoping they come back round so I can get it on video for you. But anyway, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one, this one. That's the way I'm going. Right, we're on route. I'm blowing up my backside already. It's been a while since I've climbed mountains with a full backpack on. <sighs> kind of hoping the fighter planes are going to come back through the through the through the valley because they're about I'm about the same height as them now. So it's just something uh, good to show you, you know. So I'm kind of hoping. So anyway, I need to save my energy and my breath to get up here, heading up. There. To the top there. And that's where I cut across and come down to Klimbok Lewin. Anyway, I'll see you shortly. As you can see now, I'm gaining a bit more altitude. Views are starting to open up. Going up there, right up there. I mean, the reason why I'm taking this route is because it's the way me and Meg, when we, when we, when we camped at Trifon, we went up that way and we came down the way from Bokhlu with the normal way, which is where you can see the cliffs there. And the way we went up, although it's really steep, stupidly steep, it's not scramble, so. It would be a lot easier because I've got a full winter kit with me and I can't imagine what this bag weighs. I think you're probably looking at about 15 kilo. So 
And these last summer, me and Megs did it, we both shared the weight. And we were only in the lunch then. I'm in a proper winter tent tonight. So anyway, feeling good. The weather's beautiful. And I'm gonna hit on. I'll come back to you shortly. What a gorgeous day for it. Now if you're thinking why have I got my sunglasses on in April, yeah the sun's out but because I'm always looking up I'm trying to wear them to uh, keep the wind out my eyes. So seeing some people in the distance there coming down the way I'm going up they'll probably look at me and think bloody hell you're a sucker for punishment with that backpack on your back and yeah I probably am. Roll on the bloody summer when we can go back down to eight, eight kilo packs. So they are lugging this up, feeling my hips already. But anyway, altitude means solitude, and I'm looking for solitude tonight. This is going to be good. Stay tuned. Feel the weight of your back pulling you backwards. Oh, yeah, man. Feels wicked. Wicked to be back out, man. Proper in the mountains, properly. God, I love this, man. Can't get enough of it. Starting to gain some altitude now. Look at that. Penny Hall in front of you. Carnet Llewellyn behind it. Second highest peak in Snowdonia. I was hoping the fighter planes had come back. Get a wicked shot at them from here. You'd be looking down on them. Wicked man. Anyway. The only way's up. I'll come back to you in a bit. Gotta love the mountain goats here. Anyway, it's time to push on. So I take my word for it, these steps look a lot different to the eye than they do on the camera, take my word for it. Right, let's get them done. Lifesaver at the moment. Keeping me going. Got all through parcels. Notice the uh, temperatures dropped quite a lot now. Wind's picked up a little bit more. According to the Mountain Information Weather Service earlier on today, should be getting about uh, 15, 20 mile an hour wind. So ideally, I want to get myself a nice little secluded spot by the lake. And I've spotted a couple from when I was up here with Megs. Absolutely wicked spot. So, uh, so yeah. Come on. Come on, let's go. That's where I'm heading. Trifan, look. Looking as intimidating. And look at that, y'all. Look, there's a Spitfire going through the, through the valley. Spitfire through the valley. Fantastic. And you wonder why I love this place so much. Anyway, where was I? Trifan. 
looking as intimidating as usual. Not done Trifan yet, not summited it, but who knows what might happen over the next 24 hours. I want to do the Adam and Eves. Look at the altitude I'm gaining there. Fantastic man. What a rush. Right, I've done the scramble, got to the top of the steep bit, just got to, to the crest line here, just need to get to the top of that, and that's, that's where I'll start making that right turn down towards, the, then I'll start making a descent towards the lake. Wind's really starting to pick up now, I mean really starting to pick up. So the quicker I get up there, get myself into some uh, a little bit of a secluded place, a bit of shed with a bit of a bit of a windbreak, the better. So right, I'm going to carry on up there now, and I'm going to start getting to the top. Then I'm going to start making my move over towards the right. So come on, let's get this done, man. Let me give you one more pan around. Look at this. that Spitfire fly past on the camera before. That was wicked. I'm still kind of holding out the fighters will come before I get to the top of this crest so I can get them but you're probably not going to be able to see them. So yeah man. Heading up there. Let's go. Still not got to that crest yet which I pointed out to you. Whoa, it's a lot further away than it looks. One thing you can never do with the mountains is underestimate distances. Because what looks like 100 metres away can be a mile away. Whew. So, it's all opening out here now. It's where I came from down there, you can't even see it now. Just kind of there, that line there. After that, it's just a drop. That was a steep part I came up. So now the views are opening out ahead of me with Glidderfar, Glidderfar, and Trifan, the summit of Trifan is just up there. Can't quite see the Adam and Eve stones because it's on the other side of the mountain. But Slimbok Lewin is literally just down there. So I'm almost at the point now where I need to take that right turn, which I showed you on the map. The sun's come back out. Oh god, it's so nice. The sun got behind that cloud. And I've in the mountain weather earlier on, it said there could be had the potential of some um, hail and possibly a little bit of snow flurries. And I thought, oh no. Nah. Saw a black cloud coming over the top of Trifan and I thought it's going to catch me in a really exposed area. But lucky enough, it seems to have fizzled out into nothing. So. I'm going to keep you with me so I can show you the law of the land. Oh, this is up by where me and Meg's camped. That video is on the channel. I can just see a couple of little rocks right in front of my finger there where I had the land shan. Just see Limbock Lewid opening up down there. It's almost time to make that right turn. Anyway, I'm going to plod on. Wow, I think I needed this bit of exercise. It's blown a few cobwebs off, I'm telling you, man. I am telling you. So, anyway, I'll talk to you at the lake. Let me show you something. Oh, God, I'm 
Venice. This is the exact spot. This is the exact spot me and Megs pitched the land shine last year. Megs, do you recognise it, babe? If I remember correctly, you've weed up against that rock there. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Oh, I'm terrible for that. Come back to you shortly. Right, we're at the stage now where I'm taking that right turn. If you have a look, Limbock Lewid. I've come all the way up there, past where me and Megs camped last year, which is just over there. And now it's time to make that right turn and head down to the lake. I think we're currently sitting at about 2,300 feet. And it feels wicked to be back up here, man. Anyway, I've got to find myself a spot. Catch you in a bit. You know I said never underestimate the mountains? See that? Just gone past my ankle couldn't even see it which is why I say never I repeat ever underestimate the mountains because they can throw at you everything you least expect anyway from dirty boots to Dan and Meg outdoors stay tuned I'm heading back down to the lake I had to say this Sorry. Do you know what? I actually feel like I could actually get in that right now. But if there's any way of getting people off your channel, Dan takes his clothes off, so I'll be leaving them on, unfortunately. So, uh, anyway, we're making decent progress down towards the lake. See what I mean? How much higher we are. I said, I'll, 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 by the time I've gone up that steep, going up the side of Trifan. I'll end up being probably a couple of hundred metres higher than the lake, which is exactly what it is. So, um, you've got to be careful where you're putting your feet here. There's some very, really, really boggy ground, and it looks solid, and before you know it, your foot's through it. And you're up to your knees in mud. Oh. So, anyway, I'm going to shoot. I'll come back to you when I'm a bit closer to the lake, which is there. Um, I, thought, I think I've already found myself a spot. I was going to pitch over that way. But now I know that little spot's free there. I might have a look at that. But I do know there's another one a little bit up that way. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll be back with you shortly. Well, I've just found that spot. But it's boggy, man. Really boggy. There's absolutely no way because where that rock is, I mean, it was there. Where I've had to look around there, but where the corner of that spat big rock is, there, there's about three foot of water. So, uh, no, not for me. So, I'm gonna have to look elsewhere. I've got time. It's a bit different to when me and Megs came, we were on a clock, but it was getting dark. But I think I've got a couple of hours yet. I don't really want to pitch my tent yet anyway, but I probably could pitch my tent. There's nobody here. I haven't seen anybody since probably halfway up the hill, halfway up the mountain. Stopped and had a chat with him. He asked me what the camera was for. I told him it's for the YouTube channel to film for you guys. See the trouble I go to to provide you with entertainment. <laughs> I love it, man. Way, foot's just gone again. Do you know one thing I can say? These Scarpa, Scarpa GT, Maverick GTXs, Gore-Tex boots are absolutely wicked. I think they cost about 180 quid. I got them on a price match, plus with the discount. I think I paid about 140 quid, 130 quid, I think. And do you know what? They're wicked for mountaineering. Comfy, waterproof, hard wearing. What can you ask for? Anyway, so there's a couple of nice spots here, look. To be fair, my legs are killing me, my hips are killing me. 
I want it to be as easy as possible to get the water. I've only brought about a litre with me. And I've got two dehydrated meals. Plus I want brews. I don't really want to be trundling over rocks to get me water. So if I can get somewhere close to the water, it's even more better. It's even better for me. Because to be fair, after that walk up, I'm hanging, man. Felt that. There's a few cobwebs been blown away today. I can tell you. There's a few cobwebs been blown away today. Jesus Christ. So, I'm going to scramble across this lot. We'll have a walk around the other side over there, but I am trying to stay out of the wind. At the moment, it's perfect because I'm being shadowed. I've been, I'm being completely blocked by the wind, so it's really nice. But I know as soon as I get over this little thing, this little hill here, it's going to win. The wind's going to pick up again, which is what I don't want. Be nice to have a peaceful night. Really nice, calm night, so I can sit and enjoy an alcoholic beverage. And people who know me well know how much I like an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm any worse than anybody else. You know, I don't have a problem or anything. I'll tell you what though, I need a beer after this. Woo! Come on, let's go. But I found a pitch. I'm on the other side of the lake now. Look at that. Flat, dry, and I've got a wind shelter as well. Got bloody rubbish. I'll pick that up. If I can't be, I'm going to pick that up and take it home. Get rid of it. I don't people to clean that mess up. It does my head in. But what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and get on that bit of the bump thing there. But anyway, I'm going to keep on looking. I've got this spot anyway if I don't find anything else. I'll come back to you when I'm ready. So I think, do you know what? There's nobody here. I think I'm just going to pitch up. Pitch up. Get this sweaty top off. Get some dry gear on. And I think I'm going to go and have a plunge in the water. Get out of it. You've got no chance, mate. Got no chance. There's no way I'm getting into getting my skids off to boost our viewers. Or like, oh, just to boost. Oh, so was absolutely no chance. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm off to the spot. I'll have a crack with you when I get there. So it looks like I've got my spot. Might have to show you the new palace. Ta-da! Do you know what? Even though I pitched this before on the first looks a couple of weeks ago, that is still a faff to pitch. So here we go. The Terra Nova Pioneer 2, first outing. All pitched. Ready to go. You hear the fighter planes flying through the Ogrin Valley. Wow, proper wow moment. Anyway, everything's in the tent. Well, pretty much. Sleep system for this evening. Close cell phone mat for the bottom. My Xped Sima XP9. This is, these are for people who uh, are new to the channel. Because this is the first time out in this tent and it goes pretty close to the floor, I don't quite know what the what the score is going to be with condensation. So I've put my Rabasense 1100 in my Alp kit hunker bivvy just to keep it dry in case there's condensation in the tent. Um, do you know what? One thing I've noticed, which I forgot to mention a couple of weeks ago, you know when I did the first first pitch and stuff like that on this tent. There's nowhere in the in, in the actual tent to uh, hang your lantern. So I've actually got it on the outside here. On one of the little toggles for the uh, which connects the inner to the outer. So anyway, I'm gonna get settled. 
and I'll uh, can I find a little friend look do you know what I was putting everything in, into the tent just a minute ago and I looked over my shoulder and he was almost practically standing on my shoulders he was so close I don't know who shit himself more me or the sheep but anyway I found a friend stunning scenery I hope you're enjoying the video I'll catch you shortly drone out as you've probably noticed um, a couple of young lads have turned up over there I might go and say hello I tell you what the the, uh, the forces are uh, doing a bit of training today oh, there's a Chinook over there look let's go to the Olwen, if you can see it you might be able to hear it this is a pitch pretense up the fighter planes have been roaring through the valley so, but I'm going to go and have a quick little bit of a walk up there now, just to, uh, you know, just to get me out and about. All the bed and everything set up. Um, we were occasionally getting gusts so when, so I'm in two minds to guide, actually guide the tent out properly tonight. So, uh, so yeah, but anyway, I'm going to go and have a bit of a stroll, have a bit of time on my own, and I'll come back to you shortly, guys. Take care, I'll see you shortly. Oh, what a glorious evening. 
wind seems to have calmed down a bit now. Sun's almost going down behind the gun. A couple of new lads, I've just been over and had a chat with them, Liam Matt from Liverpool and Manchester. If you're watching the channel and you need to see this video, it's wicked to meet you lads. I hope you have a really good camp. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit and chill for a bit now. I need to filter some water out, I still haven't done it yet. And um, it's gotta be beer o'clock, man. It's gonna be the nicest beer I've ever drunk, this one. So anyway, I'm gonna come back to you shortly. Hope you're enjoying the video. Tell you what, man, that sun's gone down. And so is the temperature. Time to get another layer on. I'm gonna keep this on. Windproof jacket. Oh. I'll run through what I'm wearing for you in a minute. Right, outcomes are down. Right, what am I wearing at the moment? It's something I've never done on the channel before. Right, I've got a pair of four class trousers on. I've got my Scarpa Maverick GTX boots, which are, as I said earlier on, absolutely wicked. Underneath this I've got a Montane Montane top Like a base layer top I wear it as a main one This this is the Rab Windproof jacket I'm just about to put A down, 600 fill down jacket Which I bought online Never heard of the company They're from they're somewhere in France or something If I can get it on to the 600 fill down reversible so you can have blue orange Good. and in a minute I'm gonna put on it's 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 only a uh, mountain warehouse jacket does the job that goes there the temperatures have seriously plummeted. I mean seriously plummeted. And this is the mountain warehouse jacket, synthetic fill. Obviously I've got my Patagonia hat. But I'll be changing that to a woolly very very shortly. I've got some rab base layers to put on for bed because I haven't got any on at the moment. So yeah that's what I'm wearing at the moment. Does a job. Right, I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna get some food on shortly. I need to make a quick phone call. The only place I can actually make a phone call, I've got to walk about 300 meters to the other side of the lake by Trifan. So uh, I can give Meg a quick ring before the sun goes down. I filtered some water from the lake with my soya mini. That's all good to go for food. So I'll, I'll come back to you when it, at dinner time. So um, from spectacular view in Snowdonia, I'll catch you guys shortly. Tea time ladies and gentlemen, it's tea time. What have we got for dinner tonight? Got a selection? Not sure what I fancy. Got the minced beef hot pot. And I've got, never tried these before. Something to eat. Chicken fajita with rice. Interesting to see what that's like. So uh, I'm gonna crack on with dinner. I'll come back to you when it's made and I'll tell you what I think. Stay tuned. Jet balls on the go now, boiling some water up for dinner. Never had a summit to eat before, so I don't quite know. Don't know, do you fill it to the line? 
never had one so I don't know so uh, time to get dinner on when it's uh, all rehydrated I'll come back to you I'll see you shortly welcome back dinner time moment of truth for something to eat my first something to eat chicken fajita and rice decent portion do get a decent portion been sitting in the bag now for about 10 minutes I'm absolutely starving man starving starving gonna know what it looks like it looks like baby poo <laughs> don't they all so here we go Oh, that's hard, rehydrated really well. It's amazing, and everything tastes nice when you when you're doing this. I think it's because you're just grateful to have something warm inside, yeah. Because <laughs> to be fair, it is freezing outside. Free. I've only just sucked my gloves off. Well, and I've mentioned before in previous videos that I'm not really big on dehydrated meals with rice. This is by far the best rice one I've had. To be fair, it's actually all right, man. Chicken fajita and rice from uh, something to eat. Big thumbs up from Dan. Here's a big thumbs up. Anyway, you don't want to sit and watch me dribbling this all down my coat. So, I'm going to knock off for the night now. Unless something eventful happens <laughs> during the evening, I'll bring you back for it. But it's a pretty calm night. There aren't many clouds in the sky, which is really wicked here because you get the Milky Way coming straight over the top. So I'm going to get out, have this, warm up, warm up, and I'm going to get out and see if I can do some pictures, some astrophotography or some night, 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 night time photography thing. So, so until then, unless something else happens, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night from Dan and his chicken fajita and rice. Nighty night. Morning all! Well, what an incredible night that was. Slept really well. As soon as I got in that sleeping bag last night, I was gone. So I've had about five and a half hours sleep. It's half past five now. Sun hasn't come up yet. This is what I've woke up to this morning. Some absolutely beautiful colours in the sky down there while I'm waiting for the sun to come up. So anyway, I'm not sure I'm going to bother with the coffee. It's a, bit, it's a bit cold, I want to get packed away. So anyway, if I do have a coffee, I'll have it down at the car. So um, if you've come this far watching the video, that's fantastic. You're obviously enjoying it. I personally think it's a pretty decent one on this trip. So, but yes, if you want to continue to, uh, continue to watch it while I get back down, I'll come back to you shortly. Morning. Well, that's another successful wild camp completed. All packed up now, ready to go. Look, this is where I was pitched. Nothing left there, no rubbish. Everything's been taken away with me, which is strapped to my bag, which is there. Look what some practs done. Idiots. My, my rubbish is strapped to my bag. So, if you've liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Never mind. And um, if you if you do like the this kind of thing, obviously consider hitting the subscribe button. So um, it's about it's about six o'clock, half past six now. I haven't checked the time for a while. 
Um, I, I need to get back down to the car now. I've got to drive back down to Birmingham. Um, anyway, if wild camping's your bag, give us a subscribe and the next video will be on. Megan will be with me. For our new subbers, Megan can't always come with me. She doesn't drive. And uh, we've got a 13 year old epileptic dog and my dad used to look after the dog so me and Megan could go out and do things. But my dad passed away last year so it's made it a little bit difficult for us both to get out at the moment. But we do have something planned and it should be within the next week or so. So anyway, from Dad and Meg Outdoors, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and I'd love to hear the comments down below. If anybody got any questions or anything about any of the, the equipment I've used, clothing I've worn or anything like that, then obviously feel free to put a comment down below. So from Dan and Meg Outdoors, bye bye from Snowdonia. Wanted to come back to you just to give you, uh, show you the, the trip back down the side of the mountain. Because you, you've got a boulder field up there. Because you're literally walking on the boulder field with a river underneath you to, to, to pick up the path. I've got my gear GPS app on my phone which helped me find the path which is there because you can't actually see the path so anyway time to get down off this mountain I could stay up here all day look at that now, sun's come up beautiful sunrise right Time to get down off this mountain. This is why I came up the way I did yesterday. Because I, th I think it's probably a bit easier than coming up this way yesterday. Look at this for a drop. Massive drop. Sheer drop. So harsh on your knees coming down. The drop. Wow, amazing scenery. Beautiful scenery. The good thing is, the rocks I'm standing on to come down, they're not slippy either. And these boots have got a seriously good grip on them. Now this, this could be potentially a dodgy, dodgy little, dodgy moment. Oh, go on Danny. Oh, it's not as slippy as it looks to be fair. I believe this become this little path becomes a river. The weather's been bad, so it's obviously kind of trying to dry out. So there are a few tricky, tricky stages to coming down. This is the re exact reason. Well, I didn't want to come up this way. Literally scrambling down the side of the mountain. Not easy with a big backpack on. Last time I came down here, I had Megs with me. And we only had the luncheon. We were sharing the weight. Oh, it's got ankle breaker put, written all over that bit. Wow. God, I'm feeling my knees now. Anyway, I'm going to stop the film for a bit. Look at this. I'll leave you with that. That's what I've just come down. Right, I'll catch you shortly. 
come from up there. Beautiful landscaping. Couple of little plunge pools on the way. You want to cool down in the summer? Look at that sun now coming up the Ogwen Valley. Gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to come back to you when I get a bit closer to the car. That's where I've come down from up there. You can kind of just about make out the path coming round there. Doesn't look anything from down here. But boy, I've got condensation on the inside of my jacket at the minute. Back down at the old green cottage. I wanted to, I wanted to get the camera going again after a uh, finished scene up, up by uh, when I packed the tents away because I wanted you to see a different route which I came down because obviously it was different to the way I went up. Look at this beautiful, loads of beautifulness. Yeah, I wanted to show you a different route because there's a, there's a couple of different routes to go. Well, there's two routes. Not many people go up the route that I went up yesterday. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? And it was a slog. We just shut this gate, get me bag through. That's it. So yeah, I wanted to show you a different route down. I mean, I'm not quite sure next, if next time I come here, I might actually go or try and go up that route, which I've just gone come down because it just seems a lot quicker. I mean, yeah, it's a bit more harsh, steeper in places and there's a bit of a scramble involved, but I think it, 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 you'd get up there a lot, lot quicker. So anyway, I'm back down at the cottage. Right, well, I'm nearly back at the car now. Turn my microphone round. You can see both routes now, the way I went up and the way I came down just. Right, okay. That's the way I went up there. Took that right turn and then came back down to the lake. And I can just, just up there is the route I came down and I've walked all the way around the Ogbring Cottage. Good walk. Beautiful morning. I want to put my sunglasses on but there's all condensation on them. You can't beat waking up and a bit of morning sunshine like this, look at that. I can see my car now. This video I'm going to sign off. For Dan and Meg Outdoors, subscribe. See you next time.